Happy Tuesday. Phil Lindemann with your Crystal 93 News at Noon. Here's a little something to be thankful for this holiday week. Gas prices are falling for some. Average for a gallon in Colorado today is three thirty, nearly 10 cents cheaper than last week. Prices have fallen more than 25 cents in a month. They are 22 cents cheaper than last holiday. Here in Summit, though, just be thankful we're under 4 bucks. Average price is three seventy-seven. The average in Vail is a few cents more. That data comes from Gas Buddy. Unfortunately, your meager savings here at the pump will disappear on the dinner table. This from the Colorado Sun. Average price for your traditional Thanksgiving spread with turkey stuffing and sides is close to $64 per person this holiday. That is 20% more expensive than last year. In Colorado, the average price per person is even more than that. Maybe no seconds this year. Early opening day at Beaver Creek yesterday was mellow and mostly uneventful until a car caught fire in the Ford Hall parking structure. The Vale Daily reports no one was injured and the fire was quickly put out. The village was blanketed in smoke for a bit. Summit County needs a clerk. One week from today is last day for Deputy Clerk Stacy Nell. Despite winning the election, she is leaving the county for the town of Frisco, and not one person has applied for the job. The clerk oversees licensing, motor vehicle registration, birth certificates, and elections. You can contact the county to apply. We hear the pay is good. The town of El Jebel has no plow drivers this winter. This from the Aspen Times. CDOT has tried and failed to fill all six seasonal plowing positions in El Jebel between Carbondale and Basalt on Highway 82. CDOT's now offering $1,000 per month for rent on top of pay. A climber suffered serious injuries last Friday when she tumbled 500 feet down the icy eastern ridge of Mount Yale, a 14er near Buena Vista. This from Chafee Search and Rescue. The climber spent a night in sub-zero wind chills waiting for rescuers. Rescuers eventually moved her to Treeline and built a fire where they waited for air support in the morning. Local avalanche danger remains moderate above Treeline today in Summit County and the Vale area. Your problems are wind slab and persistent slab. In sports, the Avalanche beat the Stars in a shootout last night, 3-2. to two. Tonight, the Nuggets play the Pistons at 7. World Cup men are in Canada this week for the Lake Louise downhill. First training runs are happening right now, with eight U.S. men taking the start, including Steve Nyman. He's just two weeks away from his 40th birthday. And in local sports, brought to you by Cassandra Schultz & Associates with American Family in Dillon. Tomorrow is opening day of ski season at Crested Butte and Steamboat. And up north, it's going to be a monster. Steamboat opens with six chairlifts and 34 trails. That's the biggest opening day in Colorado after five feet of snow there in the past month. Beaver Creek was the second deepest with 50 inches. That's just over four feet. Phil Lindemann, Crystal, 93 News.